guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. And in today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna to talk to you new collectors or people who are just starting to get into this 4K format. So a lot of you watch my videos, you watch my 4K reviews, you hear me talk about a lot of things, but one thing that I always get asked is, when I'm new to 4K, what are sort of the, the big titles that I should go out and get that are going to impress people, that are going to make my home theater look amazing, sound amazing, what's gonna really you know, put me over the edge when it comes to 4K and convince me that this format is worth investing into. And so what I've done today is I've picked five 4K movies out of my collection that are absolute reference quality, they will blow you away visually, they sound amazing, and they are why the 4K format, in my opinion, is so important and is absolutely worth the upgrade and worth the investment if you're really serious about home theater stuff. So before we jump into that, please remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Also like this video so more people can see it. We can help out other new collectors and start spreading the word about 4K even further so that the studios see the support, create more 4K titles and give us more great content to watch on our new 4K setups. So with that being said, let's jump into the first title here. The first one on my list here is from Sony and it is Passengers. Now Sony really did a great job with 4K uh, right when the format was announced. And this movie is from back in, I wanna say 2017, 2016. So it was an early title. And the cool thing about Passengers, just before we jump into the details, is that this is a 4K 3D and Blu-ray combo pack. So you get the 4K, the 3D disc, the Blu-ray disc, and it came with the digital copy. So it's actually a four disc set, uh, sorry, three disc set plus digital. And it is absolute reference quality. This is a true 4K transfer. And so what that means, and you'll hear me talk about this in other videos, newer movies that are shot digitally, like Passengers, are oftentimes shot at 3.4K or, or even 2K, and then they're finished at 2K for theaters. A lot of movies that are currently made are finished at 2K because of all the CGI and elements that need to be rendered at a lower resolution. But Passengers was actually shot at 6K, and its digital intermediate, what was actually passed to theaters, was true, real 4K. And so this 4K disc, when I first put this in back in 20. 17 this is what opened my eyes to 4k and made me realize what it could really be because this is an amazing looking movie it is visually stunning it may not be the best movie in the world but again that's not what we're here for i'm not here to rank movies based on how great they are i want to talk about just visual and audio this also has an amazing dolby atmos track and so if you're investing in 4k video i highly encourage you to invest in dolby atmos technology as well I use mine through SVS Sound. They have what they call prime elevation speakers. You just tack on a couple speakers uh, and they serve as your heights, they serve as your Atmos effects. They're really great speakers, I recommend those. But if you're gonna invest in 4K and Atmos, Passengers is awesome. Chris Pratt, Jennifer Lawrence, it's a fairly decent movie, but the visuals are incredible. It's a great HDR uh, reference quality disc that I absolutely think that you know everybody should have in their collection if you just want a title to show off. Now this next one may not be much of a surprise to anybody who's been following the channel, but it absolutely made my list the minute I went and checked it out. And this is The Shining from Warner Brothers. Um, this new 4K release, this just came out a couple weeks ago, and it is a new 4K transfer done from original camera elements, the original 35 millimeter camera. And now we talked about new movies and digital, older movies that are shot on film, 35 millimeter, 65 millimeter, whatever it ends up being, can actually hold a lot of data. And so they can take the old film and they can render that into 4K. It's a pretty lengthy process, but it ends up churning out a completely new 4K, real 4K image. And that's what we got here with The Shining. It is an absolute stunner of a disc. If you've watched the Blu-ray and compare it to The Shining 4K, you're gonna see why you need to upgrade to 4K and why you should invest in this format. And also, it's a great movie. It's a horror classic. 
Halloween's coming up. It's a great time to, uh, you know, go and pick this up. If it's one of your first 4K titles, I don't think you'll be disappointed. The audio isn't as good. It just has a DTS HD 5.1, no Dolby Atmos. But in the time period that this movie was made, that's how most sound mixes were created. And so you don't really need Atmos. The 5.1 track here is really well done. And the, you know, the HDR and the, the resolution is really what sells me on this. But it does also have HDR 10 Plus and Dolby Vision, which are two premium formats. So if you're investing in a TV, check for those formats. But this has both of them and is a great image, awesome sound. And you'll love 4K after watching this movie on your new home theater setup. Now I'm going to jump back to some more current movies that really blew me away. And we're going to get into Mission Impossible Fallout. So this was a huge success when this came out last summer, um, just about a year ago, a year and a half ago now. And when this movie came out, Mission Impossible has been around forever, but this was an excellent entry into the series. So it's got that going for it. The other cool thing is that this is also a true 4K title. So it was shot in different resolutions, but it was finally rendered in 4K. And so this is a true 4K. There's no upscaling. There's no downscaling. It's 4K on a 4K disc and it looks incredible. It also has Dolby Atmos audio and Dolby Vision HDR. So it's got all the premium formats covered. It's a really good movie and it looks incredible on your screen. Think about all the different IMAX scenes that are in this. You get those in full screen when you're watching it. They put the IMAX scenes on this disc, which is really cool. One of my favorite things to get on 4K releases is the IMAX scenes. You'll see why in a little bit. But Mission Impossible Fallout is a must-have to start off your 4K collection. I think you'll be totally impressed by this title. Another recent title on 4K here, but a really important one. And I almost actually picked the original to be in this list, but I went with the sequel because visually it's better. It's not a better movie than the original, but visually it is better. And that is Blade Runner 2049. So this just came out about a year and a half ago, back in 2018 as well. But this is another real 4K, true 4K title. Also packs that Dolby Atmos audio track, which is really nice. You're gonna get all seven, eight, nine, eleven, 11, however many channels you have firing. Atmos is gonna take full advantage of them. And Blade Runner is one of my favorites to show off HDR because of the colors. There's obviously a lot of futuristic, you know, neon greens, blues, pinks, yellows. There's all kinds of color schemes in this movie. And if you watch the Blu-ray disc, it's going to look really nice until you put in the 4K and check out what that HDR color can do for your home theater. This is a great example of where HDR is an excellent, excellent reason to upgrade, as well as the resolution being a 4K, a real true 4K title. But the HDR in this release is really nice. As a runner-up, like I said, the original Blade Runner is also available in 4K and is a really nice release as well. So you might as well grab them both. But if you just want to show off HDR and show people, hey, here's the real selling point of 4K is this new HDR technology. Blade Runner 2049 is going to give you that in full blast. It looks incredible. And you're not going to be disappointed in the movie either. I thought it was really well done. A lot of people, you know, it's hit or miss with some people, but I thought it was really cool. It's a little bit long, but it's well worth your uh, investment. And I think it's an awesome 4K title that you have to add to your collection. And the last one here, honestly, I probably could have picked any number of titles from this director because he's done an amazing job with all of his movies on 4K so far. But I went with one because it's a classic and I thought it honestly looked the best of all of them. And that is The Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan. This movie was shot on film actually. It was shot in 35 millimeter, a couple different lenses. They did IMAX scenes. All of that's here, you get the IMAX sequences. And the 35 millimeter was restored, rendered at 4K. Christopher Nolan took a look at it. He oversaw everything. It doesn't have the Atmos audio. It just has a DTS HD 5.1 again. But this is another title like Mission Impossible that switches between, you know, you're going to have some black bars on top and bottom in some scenes. And it's going to be cut off because that's the original aspect ratio. And then it's going to blow up full screen when you get the IMAX sequences. And those look amazing in 4K. The HDR here is also really nice. As you know, the Batman, the Dark Knight trilogy 
a little bit of a darker series, really kind of gritty, lots of grays, blacks, blues, dark colors, and HDR really helps build out the deep color schemes of those colors. It really brings out the darks, and it, it is a much deeper black than you're going to get on Blu-ray, so it looks really nice on movies like this that are tend to skew a little bit darker. Um, but like I said, The Dark Knight's an awesome one. If you can find the Christopher Nolan box set, though, that's probably worth it. You'll get all the Dark Knight trilogy movies. So Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. You're also going to get Interstellar, um, The Prestige, uh, Dunkirk is another one that he did. All of his movies look incredible, amazing in 4K. So it's really hard to go wrong with any of them. But I just picked The Dark Knight because of the IMAX sequences, the excellent use of HDR, and the fact that it is a classic movie. And so if you're going to jump into the format, you might as well get you know, good movies if you can. And The Dark Knight is the best of all of Christopher Nolan's work so far, in my opinion. So that's the one I went with. But absolutely need to add this to your collection. Awesome, awesome 4K. And these are all real 4K titles, as I said. So guys, that's the list. Here's your five movies to get started. You know, the nice thing about these is, other than The Shining, they've all been out for a little while. So you can probably find them on eBay for 10, 15 bucks. The Dark Knight might be a little harder, a little more expensive because it's kind of a, Christopher Nolan movies always run a little more in 4K. Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, Blade Runner, Passengers. I've seen all those for, you know, 10, 15 bucks on eBay. Check Best Buy. Best Buy is always having sales. Check your local used stores like Bull Moose. But all these move, all these titles right here, these five are absolutely off the charts amazing. If you're trying to convince somebody to buy a 4K home theater or upgrade to 4K and join this kind of this community and this format and, and back this format, this is what you should bring. This is what you should put on. When your friend comes over and he says, oh, 4K is stupid. I'm streaming stuff. I don't need 4K. Stick on passengers, put him in front of your projector or in front of your 4K screen and just let him sit there and have him tell you that that doesn't look better than anything he's been watching. He'll be hard pressed to say that it is. So I, I think that this is the way to kind of convince people and convince yourself. If you're still into Blu-rays and you've been going back and forth on 4K, I think that once you put any of these five into your player and fire it up for the first time, you're going to see why this format has so much potential and so much greatness involved in it. At the same time, be careful. As I always say, check out reviews, do a little research on titles, especially older ones, look at how they were remastered or restored, and always do your research before dropping $25 on an upgrade. That's why I do the reviews, that's why many others do the reviews, and that's why it's important to do your research. There are some 4K titles which are not worth a dime. They're not worth any of your money. Keep your Blu-ray, it'll probably look better. We run into that sometimes, and that's the kind of dangerous game you play with 4K, but at the same time, you've got titles like Passengers, Mission Impossible, The Shining, and you know all these great, great 4K releases. So it's just a matter of kind of going through the mud and, and figuring out what's good, what's bad, finding those hidden gems, and that's what I'm here to help you with. So if you like this stuff, make sure you're subscribed. If you're new to 4K, you'll wanna to subscribe to my channel. I have all kinds of reviews and helpful videos, and I come out with more content all the time. So turn on notifications and subscribe. Also, remember to follow me on Instagram. That's a great place to ask me questions. Lots of you have, I appreciate it. And I answer those questions as soon as I can. And it's a great place to get in touch with me because YouTube is really hard to go back and forth in comments. So if you find me on Instagram, send me a DM, leave a comment, I'll be able to get back to you quickly, help you out, maybe help you get set up into the 4K format with your home theater. And also remember to check out the links down in my description. There's lots of great links to 4K TV items, uh, projectors, home theater equipment, Dolby Atmos speakers like I talked about, subwoofers, projector screens, all kinds of great stuff in there that I use in my home theater. And so if you need some ideas, click through those links. Hopefully they help you out. And if you do make a purchase, it does support my channel. So I appreciate that. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully this was a helpful video for all you new people out there. And hopefully even you guys who have been collecting 4K for a long time. Hopefully you got something out of this too. Maybe you heard about a title or two that you didn't know was really a, a great 4K title and you're going to go pick that up. So I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you have a great rest of your week and I will be back soon with more content.